An 11 year old from Springdale was diagnosed with stage two type one diabetes, and he became the first pediatric patient to receive a medication that tries to delay the development of stage three diabetes. Fox 24's Kayla Cade tells you what this medicine is and how it helped Jesse White. It's called TZ Yield. Before receiving it, Jesse White had to get his blood sugar levels checked with a finger prick device four times a day, but now it's only checked once a week or when symptomatic. Hmm. Meet Jesse White. Check me. An 11 year old with a lot of energy and humor. What I went through wasn't really punishment. <laughs> get it? Pun? Uh -huh. <laughs> but he wasn't always this energetic. Very tired. What else? Depressed, sometimes anxious. His mother, Mary, noticed something was wrong about two years ago. He was always thirsty, he would sweat a lot. The whites struggled to find answers about what Jesse may be going through until they were referred to an endocrinologist in December 2023. Jesse was diagnosed with stage two of type one diabetes on January 3rd, 2024. You have two antibodies that are positive, but a slightly higher blood sugar than normal, so something that would be called pre-diabetes. Jesse was given tapuzumab or TZ yield in 30-minute IV infusions across 14 days at Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock. He is the first pediatric patient in Arkansas to receive TZ yield. It, it allows us to um, delay, if you will, the onset of stage three diabetes, which is full-blown kind of high blood sugars, um, need for insulin. With the help of Dr. Odin, a pediatric endocrinologist with the hospital and nursing staff, Jesse was successfully treated. He had a little bit of headache uh, in the very beginning, but that's not unusual and he did great. I'm excited for it that we may have eight years he will not have to have insulin or shots. Jesse encourages other kids who have diabetes to try to yield. Because of how much it, it's helped me and how much it's helped other people in other states. He suggests bringing something to distract you during the infusions, and he reminds other TZ yield patients that everything will be okay. You won't have to go through this for, for a while. It's really not that bad once you get used to it. Dr. Odin hopes they will be able to bring TZ to Arkansas Children's Northwest Hospital in Springdale. To read more about Jesse's story, you can head to our website at fox24news.tv. In studio, Kayla Cade, Fox 24 News.